Hey there, and welcome to this week's Fast Key Fridays. This is the new series where every week I show you the best keyboard shortcuts for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. If you missed last week's episode, you can get to that by clicking up here or checking out the link in the description below. But let's get on with this week's shortcuts. Last week I showed you how to mark in and out clips and get them onto your timeline, but this week now your timeline is getting a bit busier and you've got a few more clips on there, I'm going to show you the best shortcuts to use to kind of clean up your timeline and improve your workflow. So let's jump straight into it. So the first shortcut is really simple, but it's really handy when your timeline is full of clips. So instead of going down to the bottom navigation bar uh, every time to zoom in and out, simply press the plus key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom out. So an additional shortcut for these keys is when you want to expand the width of your clips, great for when you want to add keyframes for speed ramping or complete some audio adjustments. To do this, hold down the shift key while pressing the zoom in or zoom out keys. The next shortcut is really handy when you need to move your video clips into different tracks. I do this a lot of the time when layering clips and it can get really irritating when the clip moves out of place and moves the audio, causing it to overwrite other clips, really messing up your workflow. Holding down the shift key when moving a clip will lock the clip into place, only letting you move it up or down. The next one is the ripple delete shortcut. During your edit, you're going to be doing a lot of trimming and moving clips. Normally, when you're cutting through your audio, you cut, delete, and then move to fill the gap. Doing this each time can be very time consuming. Instead, just cut the clips using Command K or the C key. Use the V key to go back to your selection tool. Then select the clip, hold shift and delete, and this will delete the gap and connect all of your clips to keep your timeline flowing instead of having to drag to fill the gap every time. So there we go, that's this week's Fast Key Fridays done. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please leave me a comment below. I do get back to every single one. Now, you can continue watching the playlist if you've missed some of our other videos, or subscribe to the channel, and you'll be notified when our next video is up next Friday. See you there.